Hi, this is Joel Lindstrom, and we are just a couple months away from the launch of Dynamics 365 and Power Platform 2020 Wave 1. There's a lot of really cool things coming, and so I'm making a series of videos showing some of those new features, and I'll ha hopefully have some of my friends help me out on some of them uh, to help you get ready for what you need to know about Dynamics 365 and Power Platform 2020 Wave 1. The first thing that you need to know is how to get the Wave 1 of 2020 for the Power Platform in your environment. So what I'd recommend you do is set up a Canary environment. What that means is we take a copy of your production environment, move it to a new sandbox, and we then, cop and then, we then install the Wave 1 preview in that environment so that you can test everything out, play with new features without impacting your main environments before you're ready to upgrade them in production. The worst thing you can do is say upgrade your development environment that you use in your normal change management process and then not be able to make any solution changes because your dev environment has a newer version than what your production environment does. So what you're going to do is go to the Power Platform Admin Center, aka.ms forward slash PPAC, and click on Environments. Select your production environment and click the Copy button. And we're going to choose to copy this environment to the uh, to the sandbox. So I'm going to choose to copy everything and then choose to uh, the environment that I want to copy it to, my CRM audio button environment. Uh, you can view the details. Uh, such as what the name of the environment will be, what the URL will be, and then just hit the copy button. So now that the copy is complete, I'm going to go to my CRM audio environment and look down in the right hand corner for updates. And you'll see here 2020 release wave one off. This gives you a chance to see what's included and review the information about the 2020 wave one and download the release notes and see all the information. But if I want to go ahead and turn this on, I would hit manage and it gives you a warning that this can't be undone. So make sure again, you're not doing this in your production environment. You're not doing this in one of your main environments. Rather you're doing this in a canary environment where you've copied your production environment. Uh, I'm going to hit the update now button and uh, it gives me one more warning saying, do you want to turn this on? I'm going to hit confirm. And now we'll wait until that update is complete. As the update is being installed, you will see over in the update area the progress of the updates. So after about an hour, you should now see all the green check marks are checked in green. And that means that the 2020 Wave 1 update has completed successfully. So just to be sure, I want to open my environment. And then I'm going to go into one of the applications, such as field service. And so from, from the application, I can hit the settings gear and go to about. And what I want to see here is what I see right here. 2020 release wave one enabled. Now I can go play with all the amazing new features and uh, start using 2020 wave one.